Good morning. Welcome to a daily vlog of, I don't know, weight loss while working in the office, I think, because today is Friday and I am going into the office today. I'm gonna take you along the day with me, show you what I do as far as weight loss goes when I'm in the office. <laughs> So I'm trying not to go to Starbucks when I go to the office because that has become a habit, not just for weight loss, but also to save money because it costs a lot of money going to Starbucks two, three times a week. I have these plastic cups that I got off of Amazon a long time ago, actually. I do plan on getting like a reusable Starbucks tumbler, but for now I'm gonna use these up. I got these, the lid, and then the straws came with it. I've got quite a few to go through, so it'll be a while before I get that tumbler, but I'm going to make my coffee and I'll put my lunch together. I literally have this every time I go in the office. It's Trader Joe's Chicken Tikka Masala. It's like 360 calories. I'm just a creature of habit. It's easy and I like it and I don't mind having it a couple times a week. So that's what I have. Um, I also made some overnight oats last night for this morning. And then I usually pack like a protein bar for a snack and then some sparkling water. Today's protein bar is going to be Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bar. They've been all over TikTok and I was influenced and I got them and they're actually really good. I like these and the chocolate chip cookie dough. All right, I've got my lunch packed, ready to go. And Luna is barking like crazy because they're starting to work on the road so I gotta get going. the day that I decide to record. I cannot do what I normally do. I was gonna go for a walk this morning. I normally go for a walk for one mile. There's a loop that I take around here. Once in the morning, once in the afternoon, but it's been raining and it's finally stopped and now I have to go to a training for two hours. So I'm not gonna be able to do my morning walk. Hopefully I can do it this afternoon after the training. I'm going to head on down to the training. It's like 10 25 right now, so I gotta get moving. I'll see you guys at lunchtime probably. So one good thing, uh, they asked if I wanted some Chipotle, I said no because I have goals and I need to stay away from that today. I brought my lunch and I need to stay under my calories today. There's a good thing that I did. Okay, I finally got a little chance to get outside and go for a walk. I walk around this little baseball field, softball field, two times and then go back to the building and it's about a mile. So that's how I get my steps in. I like to do one time in the morning, one time in the afternoon. But like I said, it was raining this morning, so I didn't get a chance to get out until now. I'll have to make up for it when I get home with the dogs to walk, but it's doable. Speaking of the training, we had a little interesting discussion. The superintendent was in that group. Some of the things she said, I'm starting to wonder if she's going to make us start coming into the office again. Right now I have a hybrid schedule, but I'm starting to wonder if we're gonna have to start going in more than that and if that's the case I am unfortunately gonna have to get a different job because I'm sorry I'm not gonna come in every day I don't know how I did it before and I'm not gonna do it again anyway I'm gonna finish walking I'm gonna make a phone call I've made it one time around the field I gotta make it one more time and head back It's time to head home. I think I am going to take the dogs for a walk first before I work out. I have a weight workout on the schedule today, but I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk first because it's been getting dark earlier and earlier lately. It's dark. I think sunset is at like 6.44. Also, tomorrow is gonna to be day one of Shark Week, which means my intermittent fasting schedule starts over. It's either 13 or 15 hours that I need to fast, so I'm gonna to try to eat dinner a little earlier tonight. That way I don't have to wait until like noon tomorrow to eat. And I've also 
got some stuff going on tomorrow night that I need to leave for by like 3, 3.30. I'm not going to have much of a window if I eat, start eating at 12. But yeah, I'm going to go home before the traffic gets too bad. All right, we've got the layers on. It is pretty cold out. I have my sports bra, obviously. I've got my workout shirt. I've got a long sleeve shirt, like a thinner long sleeve shirt, and then the warmer sweatshirt. We're ready to go. I hope I can find Elfie's jacket. I don't think it fits anymore. I think he's gotten a little bigger since last year. I might have to go to Target to buy a new jacket for him. It's getting cold and he can't stand the cold as well as Luna can. With her big fluffy coat. Right, Luna? Are you ready for a walk? We can go for a walk. Yeah, you've been sitting at home all day. You want to go outside, I don't got you? Blood on my hands right now. And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn. I have found All right, 1.27 miles. It brings my total for today to 2.29. So I made it over my goal for the day. As you can see, I when I walk with the dogs, I don't go for speed. They are busy getting sticks and trying to compete who can get the most sticks. And now we are going to head to Target. I'm going to pick up a couple things and then we'll go home and I'm going to work out, get some dinner going. Okay, so I got the groceries that I needed from Target tonight so I don't have to go tomorrow morning. So all I have to do is go to Trader Joe's in the morning and that's it. It wasn't much. A few groceries. Trader Joe's doesn't have like these mini tortillas. And then I got, they're always out of good culture cottage cheese, the regular size. So I have to get these little mini ones, but they were on sale for three for four dollars. So I got like nine of them. I think that should be enough for all of my recipes that I'm using cottage cheese for. And then I got some of these suya. That's it. I'm gonna put this away and then try to muster up the energy to work out. This was the last workout of phase one of Kathy Friedrich's SDS 2.0 series. And this particular workout was a total body triceps workout. With this particular method of training, you do three exercises for the same muscle group back to back with little rest between exercises. You then repeat the tricep and follow it with a two minute break before moving on to the next muscle group. this pasta that I made. It's a, it's a tone it up recipe from their most recent challenge, protein chickpea pasta. However, I did not use chickpea pasta. I used red lentil pasta from Trader Joe's because that's what I had. It has like 15 grams of protein in one serving, which was really surprising to me. And I also used goat cheese instead of feta. I put a little bit of feta in there, but mostly goat cheese because of the sodium content in feta cheese. And I also forgot to mention it has butternut squash in it. It's a super good recipe. I'm gonna heat this up it's all ready to go and then I will be at my calories for the day. I think I'm under like three. And these dogs are hungry. They want their food too. All right, I think I hit most of my goals today. I got over 7,500 steps. I cooked or ate at home. I ate less than 1,600 calories. I have not gotten 40 ounces of water yet. I'm gonna have to update that later. We'll see how I do. 80 grams of protein, I got that. Intermittent fasting, even though I'm in my no fasting phase, I just automatically give it to myself. It's just a free pass, I guess. And then I did 2.25 miles. Good day so far. We'll see if I get that water and then it'll be a perfect day.